Okay, um, one of the big questions I get, and um, this is a, a direct question about a uh, three by three program, uh, three by three inter integrated strength program. Um, yeah, how do I advance the loads? Okay, with integrated strength, um, we are doing a total body strength exercise, a finger strength exercise, and a mobility exercise in a small circuit, usually done three times through. That takes athletes about 15 minutes, and then maybe we'll do three of those groups for a total of a 45 minute workout. Pretty good, solid um, maintenance uh, training plan. Um, it's, it's also good for advancing uh, strength if you're doing it frequently enough. But I got the question, um, I, I'm stuck at this load and I'm not improving. Um, and what we see with an athlete like that um, is either the athlete isn't pushing very hard or the athlete is already at a, at a very high level. And so one of the things that we'll do will be to force load. And so if we're doing three sets of three on say a squat, um, you're gonna, and say you're squatting 225 pounds. So three sets of three at 225, three sets of three at 225, three sets of three at 225, and I'm stuck there. I can't seem to advance at all. So the number one intervention will be to add one more rep. And we do that in the form of a completely different set. So we'll do those three sets at 225 um, all the way through. So a total of nine repetitions there. And then we're going to add maybe two and a half pounds, one kilo to the bar and then do one repetition. Right. And so we do 225, 225, 225, and then 227 and a half. Right. Then the next workout, you're going to stay with your 225s, try to do two or three reps at that next higher load, and then we'll slowly inundate that entire group of exercises with that 227 and a half. This is what we call micro load adjustment, and you can even do smaller and smaller adjustments than that. The idea being, I'm just slowly going to overload my system. Now, the other way you can do this is to back off on that load because we're really pushing at 225. Maybe that athlete's really close to 85, 90% of their max. Let's back off to about 70% um, and we'll just start adding volume. And so instead of being at 225, we're going to back off and maybe do 195. And you're going to do three sets of three, the first workout, then the next time maybe you'll do four sets of three, next time maybe five sets of three. Work your way all the way up until you're doing about 10 sets of three and then go back in and test that max. And the volume built in this step loading um, form of, of progression usually will help you pump that, uh, that number up pretty high. Um, you'll probably see uh, your, your uh, max strength bump up by maybe 5%. And so if your max, um, one rep max would be 240 or something for a 225 lifter, um, maybe push you up to 250 or something. And then you can start moving that, that three sets of three up. Okay, second part of this question is, why do you feel like that, need, that load needs to uh, increase? And this is a really valid question. Like, we are strength training, we're trying to move these loads, but the mere practice of strength training regularly eventually makes you stronger um, in, in many, many facets of, of the, the sport. So if you're deadlifting and squatting and doing pull-ups and presses, um, you're going to become a stronger athlete, whether these specific numbers are improving or not. But you've got to stay with it. It's not as hard as you think it is going to be, but it takes longer than you think it will. And so those are two really important things to keep in mind. So to reiterate, Add single reps at higher loads if you can't move your move the weight forward. And if it's getting kind of cruxy there, let's just start adding volume at a lighter load, around 75%. Two very different ways of uh, searching out progress in your strength, but it's two ways that you might not have tried.